A salad at McDonald's, what could top that? Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 disgusting facts about McDonald's. That is nasty. So even at two and three and four, those kids are being lured into this. So bring your appetite, bring everybody. For this list, we're looking at less than savory alleged details about this fast food giant. Disturbing facts aside, what's your favorite McDonald's order? Or better yet, which nugget sauce do you get? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, chicken wings, or heads? We've all heard horror stories about people finding strange things in nuggets and burgers. As far as McDonald's is concerned, most of these fall squarely in the category of urban legend or hoax. This, however, is one of the few verifiable exceptions. That is nasty. I don't think it's that bad. That was pretty gross. That was pretty ugly. Back in November of 2000, a Virginia woman got more than she asked for at her local McDonald's. As reported by ABC News and Fox, Catherine Ortega was plating up some wings for her kids when the shape of one caught her eye. This new addition to the McDonald's menu showed up in a carton after one Virginia mom pulled up to the Golden Arches to feed her kids. The offending wing wasn't a wing at all, but a battered and deep-fried chicken head, complete with a beak. McDonald's was testing out wings in the state of Virginia at the time. Unsurprisingly, they did not take off. This head peeks back at you. You can't escape it. Number 9. Record-breaking sodium levels A chicken head is obvious, but salt tends to fly under the radar. And the average amount of salt that makes it into the average McDonald's menu item is astounding. This month it's the cheddar melt, a quarter pound beef patty topped with cheddar cheese sauce and grilled onions on a rye bun. If we were to pile it up in front of you in rock form, you would gag. Now, as any chef will confirm, salt is essential to proper seasoning. But McDonald's has been accused of overdoing it. Official American guidelines recommend an average of 2,300 milligrams of sodium per day. There's nothing like the world-famous taste of McDonald's crispy golden french fries, especially when you can enjoy a large order of them in an extra value meal. With a single meal at McDonald's, you can easily eat up a sizable portion of your daily allowance. There are 940 milligrams in a Big Mac. The sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddles, they pack a whopping 1,290 milligrams. You're gonna want to order a drink to wash that down. Number 8. Ice Cream Machines from Hell We've all made the mistake of forgetting about something in the back of the fridge. When you open up that Tupperware container, there's a nightmarish little ecosystem waiting to greet its creator with a foul stench. Well, as much as McDonald's might pride itself on its standards of cleanliness, there's some equipment that falls through the cracks. The McCafe machines apparently take 30 to 45 minutes to clean thoroughly, so depending on the franchise, they have a tendency to get overlooked. That being said, nothing will make you reconsider your ordering habits quite like this inside look at the McDonald's ice cream machine, as documented by an employee who was asked to clean it. This part of the machine doesn't touch the food, but still. Number 7. McDonald's salads were often worse than burgers You may not be aware, but McDonald's has ditched their salads. They got the axe during COVID-19 to help streamline drive through ordering, but sources report there's no plan to bring them back. And honestly, it's no big loss. My taste buds just went crazy. The franchise marketed their salads as a nutritious alternative for the health conscious. But in some nightmarish twist of logic, they managed to make salads that were often less healthy than their hamburgers. The courage lies with a man who has the guts to say no to a fast food restaurant and eat a salad instead. Here's just one example. The Keep Calm Caesar On Chicken Salad was marketed in 2016 as super healthy due to its inclusion of kale. But the crispy chicken option had more calories, fat, and salt than a double Big Mac. Oh, it's Cleopatra and Caesar, and they're bringing a salad. How wonderful. What's their secret? It's all in the dressing. A uh, salad at McDonald's, what could top that? Number six, McDonald's strawberry shakes contain everything but strawberries. Let's first dispel a popular myth about the McDonald's shake. These milkshakes are listed simply as shakes on most menus, resulting in internet conspiracy theorists taking this as proof that they don't contain milk. Unlike traditional milkshakes, McDonald's shakes do not contain ice cream, but the very first ingredient is still milk. Beyond that, however, they're on shaky ground. In the case of the strawberry shakes, the ingredients list begins a dark descent into the chemical abyss of horror that is food additives. Do they have crusty, partially gelatinated, non-dairy, gum-based beverages? Mm-hmm. They call them shakes. There are a staggering 59 ingredients in a McDonald's strawberry shake, 
most of which are lumped together under the umbrella ingredient artificial strawberry flavoring, like methyl benzoate, hydroxyphenyl 2 butanone, 10% solution in alcohol, and solvent. Just like mom used to make. Number 5. Fries with a side of false advertising. You'd think that the list of ingredients for french fries would be simple. Potatoes, oil, and salt. That should be it. But you'd be wrong. And no, McDonald's is not using a bit of vinegar in their parboil like you might do at home. The McDonald's fries are made using well over a dozen ingredients, including mouthfuls like sodium acid pyrophosphate and dimethyl polysiloxane, though not in all markets. Could be people like McDonald's french fries so much because of our patented process, or because they're served up hot and fresh. But wait, the fries have offended in other ways too. For years, McDonald's fries were thought of as a vegetarian option. In reality, however, the fries are seasoned with natural beef flavor. When the truth got out, McDonald's was forced to publicly apologize, especially to their customers in India. Number 4. McDonald's feeds 68 million people a day Go ahead and do the math. If McDonald's own estimate of 68 million customers per day is accurate, that means one in every 100 people on Earth every day. And considering the official position of any self-respecting medical professional regarding McDonald's can be summed up as, don't eat that, especially not every day, this figure paints a pretty bleak picture of our collective health and nutritional values. McDonald's cultivates dedicated customers young and keeps them coming back as they get older with an extensive menu of affordable fast food to cater to every choice or trend. When you put it that way, it sounds awful. As the McDonald's training manual proudly states, they sell over 75 hamburgers every second. That is a whole lot of fast food getting consumed. Actually, I'm not even mad. That's amazing. Number three, its marketing strategies have been called, quote, creepy and predatory. Debuting in 1979, McDonald's Happy Meal is the must-have fast food kids meal. They, of course, pioneered the Happy Meals. Now the mighty kids meals also with those little gotta have them toys. In fact, the Happy Meal has actually turned McDonald's into the largest toy distributor in the world, surpassing Mattel and Hasbro with over 1.5 billion toys distributed. It might seem like a costly giveaway, but not when you consider that they aren't just selling a Happy Meal. They're making lifelong customers out of children from the youngest possible age. So even at two and three and four, those kids are being lured into them. And it's that brilliant marketing that drew the attention of nutrition watchdog group CSPI, who took McDonald's to court over the way they use toys to lure children into their business, a marketing strategy they referred to as, quote, creepy and predatory. McDonald's has historically refuted the accusation. Number two, melting nuggets. Ooh, McDonald's McNuggets. Have you ever seen that video of the raccoon trying to douse his cotton candy? It's adorable, sad, and oh so rewatchable. Well, turns out that if you leave your nuggets too long, you could wind up just as disappointed and confused as that poor little trash panda. Unlike the cotton candy, chicken nuggets won't disappear entirely. Just the meat will. According to an ex-McDonald's employee and Redditor, he once left about 100 nuggets out in the heat. When he returned, he described the site before him as, quote, a pool of liquid. Nugget meat can reportedly disappear in as little as two days at room temperature and 10 days in the fridge. The lesson? Nuggets are weird and you should eat them fast. So bring your appetite, bring everybody, for our 20-piece chicken McNuggets, $2.99 every day. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Filthy Future Tech now more than ever, people are taking heed of high-touch surfaces. It's common knowledge that objects like handrails and money collect bacteria. Up until 2020, however, the futuristic appeal and convenience of touchscreens seem to win out over our fears of germs. It makes it easy. Something you don't have to wait in line. It's quick. Not anymore. In 2018, researchers at London Metropolitan University reportedly found fecal bacteria on all eight units. One even tested positive for Staphylococcus, while two others had traces of Listeria. McDonald's released a statement saying our self-order screens are cleaned frequently throughout the day with a sanitizer solution. All of our restaurants also provide facilities for customers to wash their hands. <laughs> McDonald's is likely cleaning these screens more than ever, but simply by virtue of being touchscreen, they're dirty by design. If you do have to use a public touchscreen, be it at McDonald's or anywhere else, 
do not touch your face or eat until you've sanitized and or washed your hands. It's not meant to be life-changing. It's just meant to modernize and evolve the McDonald's experience just to make us a better McDonald's. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.